So as long as you're, you're consistent with it, you can absolutely set yourselves up to have a better walk and to be able to enjoy your walks with your dog because they know what's expected of them, you know what's expected of you, and you either have a switch off policy for this walk or you have a heavy, heavy reinforcement policy for this walk because we're working towards something. You can't really have an in-between. You can't have a, I'm not bothered what you're doing at all, apart from in this point where I'm now bothered because it's hard for the dog to get that. I mean, some people do, some people have a, when you're on lead, you're with me, you're interacting, you're walking with me. When I let you off lead, you're therefore free and do as you wish, but we have emergency recall in case I need you. Otherwise, do as you wish. You have a different person, walk them. So, for example, when I walk Boson, I fully uh, expect Boson to not pull me anywhere unless I touch him on the back of his harness, which we'll speak about in a second. Bison doesn't do pulling me because I'm not strong enough to hold it and I've taught him not to. Um, however, if he goes out with Tony, mother half, he can pull him where he likes. He's big, he's strong, he can he can hold him. So if he wants to pull him around, he can. If I'm feeling in a particularly strong mood and I'm not too fussed if he drags me about, I'll attach him on the back of his harness, I'll let him drag me about. If I need him in a calm mood and a, in an interactive with me kind of mood, um, I will use his, uh, so we have a collar, which I use, which is not a bad collar, it's not an e-collar, it's not a spray collar, it's not anything. I've got a video of this actually to show you in a minute. Um, it's a bigger collar. So it's one of these bully collars. It's not relevant that it's a bully collar, I just thought I would tell you. Um, so it's thicker. So I prefer, if you're gonna use a collar, I prefer thick ones because they are actually um, more comfortable for the dog. They don't, if they were to pull, there's no kind of pressure in here where everything delicate is, it's wider. Um, if I need Boson to just walk with me, um, and when we go to things like uh, rugby, or um, where Boson gets to come along and gets to have social time with everybody, um, or if we're going to people's houses, generally we'll use that, the collar, because that means pay attention to me, and then when he's laying down and relaxing, he's not got a harness on, so it's not uncomfy for him. Hi, I'm Ellie. I'm a dog behaviour specialist from Essex. The goal of this channel is to give you as much dog training and behaviour advice as possible. If you like what you see and you want to learn more, it's completely free to subscribe to my channel. Let's get back to the video. If uh, Tony's walking him, I will ask him to put him on the harness and use the back attachment. And the reason for that is Boson knows he can pull on that. Tony doesn't have to train him. Boson doesn't have to listen. If I need him to be on walking calmly, but sniffing, you know, still doing his sniffy thing, but walking relatively calmly and being able to interact with dogs, um, I will use his front attachment of his harness. Perhaps you might use a um, extendable lead. I know, I said it, I went there. Perhaps you might use an extendable lead with uh, the back of a harness when you're on a walk where you're not interested in what the dog's doing. You don't care what they're doing, they don't care what you're doing. You're just walking and there's no criteria whatsoever for what the dog has to do. They don't have to listen to you because they're attached to you the entire time. Fine, great, brilliant, go for it. As long as you're safe with it, I don't care. Or maybe if you're, you've got your long line, you're playing, so you can be off the lead, but safely because you don't have an awesome recall. So that is attached and that means you can be more free and go interact with dogs. The other easy alternative is you travel in the car. So if you go in the car, then that may mean for the dog, when we get to this place, you can do whatever you like. Or this may mean to this dog, when we go in the car, we go on big walks. When we walk from the house, we go on fast paced, quick walks where we're not interacting with things. I used to have a policy when I had uh, quite a few dogs, which was uh, when you go to the woods, you can run around and do as you like as long as you do the emergency recalls. And generally they just kind of like scatter about. I wouldn't really go off, but they used to do their thing. But when we walked in more public places, so such as um, in Milton Keynes, this was, this is Manor Fields. So lots of parks, trust land, could potentially be livestock, could be rivers. Uh, well, there were rivers and quite a lot of them, um, you know, probably like to see a lot of people and dogs. So therefore, I don't want you going too far from me. I don't want you running around like a lunatic. So I reinforce more check-ins. Every time a dog looks at me, I reward that. Um, every time I, I, I practice recalls quite often. Sometimes I'll do one on lead, one off lead, um, two on lead, one off lead. And you, you mix it up. So you're keeping them on their toes a lot. You change direction a fair amount and you have a three dog policy. So every third dog we're not gonna interact with just as practice, but the other two you can. Um, so you, depending on where you go can also be a great way of differentiating walks for your dog. 
so they know what's going on based on where you're walking and what it smells like, what it looks like. This, you know, they should go nuts when we got to the woods because they're like, yay, this means we get to be free. Um, but like I say, they still had emergency recalls. So if I called them, they'd run back to me. But generally speaking, I let them do because there's so many super nice smells up there and it's so relaxing to just switch off and not have to train the dogs as, as much. Remember to click the subscribe button for more helpful dog training and behaviour tips.